You're listening to littlepodcast.com. Do you know what the, in the parlance of our pickup artist times is a shit test? If they're too high of an intelligence, it's basically saying, nope, done. We got Milkshake Duck of the Week, boys. Take your clothes off and let me see first. I mean, I guess you gotta know what the goods look like if that's what you're buying. Welcome to Born in the 80s. Welcome I'm to Born John in the Dane 80s. Giroux. I'm your co-host, Matt Hag. Oh, and man. I'm, I'm fine. That was the start. TJ the original Matt. start was a start, because Matt, you're just going to shit all over me like this. No, no, go ahead. I'm just going to fucking drop go trowel. No, go ahead. No, no, just go ahead. Go ahead. What It'll be Christmas miracle. you fucking pie over here? Shitting hey. all over the free internet? That's uh, oh. topical. Ayo. Hey, listen what I say. Oh. Hey. Right, uh, so, uh, what were you saying, sorry, Matt? About your life? I was You're saying... 60% done with the poop? Oh, well, I, I've got pot, a couple of things I've been working on, but I, I oh, keep fuck, getting I distracted. Oh, fuck, I forgot to tweet salad. And yeah, then I, you did. So, so we haven't started yet, right? Cause no, we have. A, no, we have. This is a this mess. We definitely show. have started. This is, okay. <laughs> this is totally okay. a show. This is the All show, right. so... All right, all right. I'm just gonna do that hashtag salad while Matt vamps, because Matt's so I'm the host vamp. now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about uh, what you I, chose to uh, be the host. So I'm gonna hey, this I is played a game do. called HQ Trivia that everybody probably knows about. I now. can't play it. Did we talk I've about this last week? Episode. I don't remember. We did. Yeah, uh, we kind of did. But get into it. A little it. black mirror man shows up in my phone and hosts a live game show twice a day. And it's it's cool, it's, it's cool. Yeah, great. What what what? Can you explain what the game is at all, or like? It's a twelve question any... trivia. Okay, so you start out, and there lately there's like over three hundred thousand people at the beginning, and there's twelve questions, and you keep answering them until you get one wrong. Once you get one wrong, you're out. Uh, so eventually it gets narrowed down to like somewhere between uh 10 and like 100 people and then you split the prize pool between however many people get all 12 questions right lately it's been uh about 100 or about 1500 dollars so people will usually end up with like 10 to 15 dollars if there's a lot of winners the highest i ever saw was like uh, an eight thousand dollar game where Okay. The winners all got two hundred dollars each, because not many people made it to the end. But I um, have not yeah. won any money, and I have yeah, absolutely so like no idea how money. this. Yeah, yeah, I like. I have no idea where their funny comes from, though. It doesn't make any sense. I think they're uh, existing, like on venture capital right now, and eventually they'll try and monetize it, and that'll probably ruin the whole thing. And then nobody will play it anymore. But for now, it's good. I'm going to go ahead and yeah. remove the starting soon graphic. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 TJ, how's your life? How, how are your children's uh, throats? They're dead. <laughs> not, the, not the children. Their throats. So the funny... The, the timing of this couldn't have been ever so ever more perfect um, because I just finished watch or not watching, but listening to um, an episode of the Adam Runes everything podcast about uh, um, the over prescribing and overuse of antibiotics and how it could oh, yeah. ru- ruin the medical industry and modern medicine as we know it. Yeah. We're um, already on our way. We are. It's going to happen unless we can, find a new antibiotic i think it's really more of a discovery thing than it is about an invention thing but regardless yeah so um i was uh just bringing one of my daughters in into the uh into her uh yearly annual checkup because apparently it was her birthday or something i don't know oh that's her birthday Um, present yeah you should go to the doctor i get to go to the doctor happy birthday here's some needles do i get shots um 
and then one of my other girls was sick, and I know she was complaining about a sore throat, but I'm like, can't be that much. I've been having dry throat lately. It's the time of year. So I bring them in, um, and they, they get checked, and like, the doctor's mostly like, well, they've got all the signs of strep, but a lot of their other things, like not loss of appetite and the fact that they've got a base cough means that they might not have strep but go get a culture anyway so like cool um they don't do the cultures in um they don't do the the rapid strep or the culture in office so i'd have to basically go to the nearest wherever that does it so i got a list of two hospitals that did it and we went to the one okay this one does it we start getting registered and our insurance is not covered under this so like it's okay you go to the place next door all right. So we went to Welcome the lab next to door. America. Don't you love medicine? We we went to the lab next door. Now they can do regular lab work. They can't do the swabs. Oh. <laughs> They're not trained to actually do the throat swabs. Great. Okay, so well, you what, can't what, do what it anywhere. What you need to do is go next door to the swab factory. <laughs> get your swab there and now you can't bring it over here you'll have to hire a medical <laughs> transporter to bring it over here but they'll bring exactly. it here and then we'll, we'll we'll take a look at that so instead we went to the other um the other hospital which i called ahead of time make sure that they did the stuff there and i tried to make sure they took their insurance cool we drive down there for another 20 minute drive we get down there we start getting ready We're like oh you need a ref i know you got your orders from the doctor but you need a referral. Mm. So then we take the, another 15 minute trek back to the doctor, back to where we started, like saying, Hey, it looks like we need a referral. Find out it might take up to 24 hours for the insurance to approve this. Like great. We <laughs> hadn't had lunch and it's getting really late. So we went to lunch. Apparently while I was driving away from that hospital, they tried entering the stuff and putting it all through. And it's like, Oh, insurance is just approving it even though that it claims that you need a referral to do it. So they didn't call my phone number, the one I gave them when we registered. They called the phone number on file with these kids, uh -huh. which is my wife, who was currently volunteering at the school and didn't have access to get to her phone. So I find out probably a half an hour later that, no, come back, we can do it. Yeah. Um. Between initially going to the doctor and then finally getting the the lab work, you know, the swab and out, um, was five hours. Um, well, that sounds about, like a fun birthday. Yeah. Uh, well, it wasn't on the birthday, but it was a great birthday yeah. present. I, I then, love that. Just horrible just horrible insurance garbage is what yeah, our lives are now. Exactly. Bureaucracy it's only going to get on worse. Top of bureaucracy. We had uh, I had I had picked up my my CPAP machine, and uh, I was looking at the notes that they had, and they said, "Called uh, patient's insurance was on hold for 34 minutes. Hung up. Tried again later. And was able to like I was like, ah, <laughs> Jesus Christ! One of the yeah. people at the hospital had to fucking deal with my insurance. Like, great. I'm glad that wasn't me. That's what I said. I was like, thanks a lot for taking care of that because that didn't sound very fun." Exactly. And then at the end of all of it, I'm trying to tell my kids, yeah, you know, so the strip, the quick strep, the rapid strep takes only three, takes about three hours. Yeah. It's re yeah. And, it's like really rapid. Like, and just... if it's, if it's positive, you've got strep, like with a very, very precise chance of you having strep. Yeah. If it's negative, well, there's a one in five chance that if you had strep, it would come up negative. So yeah. they got to do the, the, full culture and that will yeah. take a couple days to find out if you're truly strep free yeah so there's definitely going to be no truly n you don't have strep today but we found out they did so quick strep was positive for both and well that's good they, i mean not good uh, but good to know yep so the lab at the hospital called the doctor like they're supposed to and the doctor before calling us said that they've already submitted or they're already ready to submit the prescription directly to the pharmacy. Which pharmacy do we go to? And then 30 minutes later, we had antibiotics and are getting through that. We're uh, going 10 days, three times a day with the the powder that they've mixed together with the stuff. 
I can't so what you should do is you should quit antibiotics. after you take about half of your doses of antibiotics and you feel better. Yeah. Because that's probably, it's probably completely gone then. Yeah, definitely don't use <laughs> all of them as your doctor directs. Well, first of all, the liquid, because they have to give us full things of it, there will be some left over. But as long as we take all the doses required, we'll be yeah. all good. They just give what? you like a fucking canteen. Glug <laughs> this shit. Two little things. Mmm. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Sounds tasty. Um. So let's talk about shitty stuff. <laughs> you have, have to have be an, more specific. Do you have an audio sting for my weekly segment? Uh, oh. Was your weekly the bowels? segment? Oh. We're heading down uh, to a shitty place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going yeah. into the deep down, or what's it called? The, uh, the sunken place. The upside down. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> one and all, to the bowels of Reddit. Today, we're back in r slash seduction. Everyone's oh, nice. favorite pickup artist, um, uh, Reddit. I would like to mention that this uh, Reddit post is the one called uh, Shit Tests. Um, and it's on the right-hand side, and it actually links to an archive.org because I imagine the original version was destroyed at some point because of it being the bad. The Great Reddit Fire. <laughs> yes. So, um, common shit tests and how to defuse them. Do you know what, the, in the parlance of our pickup artist times, is a shit test? I'm going to guess. Yeah, I want to do it? a guess. On cuz there's two ways I could go on this. I'm going to guess is it like like a geek check, like a test you do to be like if you're into this correct thing and you have these correct uh opinions about pop culture or whatever. Yeah. Then then you're worthy of me. Okay. Um, TJ? Um, see, I have a feeling. Cause it, which which red is this again? This is a... Uh, I keep thinking red pill, but no, it's a seduction, right? Seduction. Yes, seduction. It's, it's very similar. It's very similar. Um, is it... Uh, There's a red pill uh, article about everything you need to know about shit tests. Okay, so I would imagine um, it's basically a little prime. I, I, I gotta think of being an. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, put your mind in a, a really second. douchey place. Yes, so putting my mind in a douchey right. place. So get some um, Four Loco, uh, it, it get a tan. A... <laughs> uh, what, do, what do Chads do? So it's a test um, to see if your potential temporary mate. If they're too high of an intelligence, it's basically saying, nope, done. I, I'm I don't want to bother. I'm loving the lingo you got here, TJ. I'm going to say that neither of you are correct, but Matt is closer. Okay. So a shit test. And this, I love that the Reddit slash R seduction post saying common shit test and how to defuse you doesn't explain what a shit test is. Um, <laughs> anywhere oh, yeah. in this, you just should this know what like, that lingo means. You, you yeah. just so have I to went know to, all the jargon. Yeah, so I went to uh, the Red Pill um, <laughs> a subreddit. Great. Um, yep. uh, and there's a link to an article to uh, called illimitablemen.com, the shit test encyclopedia. So, introduction. Many in the manosphere seem to think that shit testing is a social device unique to women whereby a form of social test is employed to determine the social fitness of a male in order to discern if he is a viable sexual option or not. Um, I think you're both basically right. Uh, but what what I've also read on Urban Dictionary is a shit test is something that you do to judge the reaction or response from them. So let's go through some common shit tests <laughs> and the responses okay. that you're supposed to have. Okay, here's here's a real simple common shit test. Okay, let's roll play I'm, this. You perform I'm mad the shit you. test on us. I'm mad at you. Matt, what do you say? Cool. 
Okay. TJ? <laughs> All right. Um... I'm mad at you. Am I trying to... Ch- Am I trying to channel my inner douche at this point, or am I trying to be me? I want you to be you. Okay. I know Matt yeah, was wait. not being him. In, in this in this uh, scenario, John, are you the pickup seducer or the target? No, I'm the I'm the pickup. I'm the target. I'm I'm mad at okay. you. She says. So you Matt, you me. said cool. Yeah, I was like, because like nobody's just said i'm mad at me like that out of nowhere okay, <laughs> like, so okay. I, would, I would just be confused tj oh, see I'm, I'm gonna say this and i know this is what i would say but Let i me know get the, call, excuse me i gotta cause... get i gotta get the beta cuck alarm out here yes it's gonna cause right, more of a problem <laughs> okay why are you mad at me <laughs> i'll go ahead and feed today uh no that is not under the beta responses so beta responses to the I'm mad at you would be, oh, why? Sorry. Well, why is the very first one. Yep. What did I do? Well, it's actually why, what did I do as one response. So you just asked why, not what did I do. You're not immediately blaming yourself. Or, yep. hey, how can I make it up to you? What can I do to make it better? Basically, being a nice person. Alpha responses, good. <laughs> Sweet, I like you better, mad. That's too bad. Frowning causes wrinkles. <laughs> Ooh, say something angry. Are, are so. we just nagging at this point? Yeah. Well, the one yeah. is yeah. Well, but these yeah. people like don't seem to know a difference between like jokey, flirty. I'm mad at you, and I'm mad. And at that's you, exactly mad at you. what like, this guy says is that it's mostly this is thrown at you in a playful way. So a playful response is what you want. Like you want to want to, I mean, which is a good advice. You gotta gotta play tit for tat here. They're being playful. But you got. That's also playful. context too. You, you, exactly. You have, to read you have to know how to read. Yeah. Be a, right. a human that's aware of social cues and other humans. Oh. This, oh. this is the best. I love this fucking. There's. I got a text phone game guide as well. We can get to that sometime. <laughs> uh, but today we're we're doing the the shit test. All right. Um, how many girls have you been with? Okay. Matt, how many girls have you been with? Uh, so am I supposed to choose the correct answer? Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, if, I'm, got... if I'm being a douche... <laughs> Or if I'm trying to be alpha, it would be something like, oh, I don't keep track or something. Okay. Um, I've, got, I've, got one I've got one that's perfect because it's between me and douche. Um, none of them were girls. They were all women. Ooh, that's a good <laughs> joke. That could work. So here we go. Here's the Not advice. Alabama. Again, a pretty common one. This one's deceptively innocent, but can have dire consequences if you answer with a typical beta response. On the same token, answering this one with a more alpha response is always a home run. Beta responses. <laughs> oh, just a few, maybe three or four, or something similar. Alpha responses. In the last couple of hours, I'd say three or four. Or, I've never even touched a boob before. Or... I didn't know I was supposed to be keeping count, which is uh, basically what Matt said. So, um, I like yeah. the I like the play acting that you've never like even seen a naked woman before, as a joke. That would be probably my go. Yeah, be like it's all about delivery yeah. at that point, though. Exactly, exactly. That's the problem with all of this pickup artist nonsense. Is that like they're trying to give people advice on what to say when the people that are so bad at this they need to go to a Reddit to learn about this probably aren't going to be helped by the coaching that you would get yeah. via this because you kind of really need and, to be able to read context situations. Yeah, if you think about this in terms of like all of these specific categories and rules, you're just doing yourself a disservice because you're going to be completely in your head and fucking yeah. shit up because you're overthinking everything. I would like to mention the Wayback Machine. 
uh, has this from 2011 when Reddit slash seduction had 32,000 readers and now it has 290,000 readers. So it's the world we live in. Well, people had to go somewhere after the, wait, no, yeah. the Donald is still there, isn't it? The Donald no, is still the there. Donald's still there. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, uh, they're allowed to do whatever they want there, but it's, it's not allowed like... to go to anywhere else on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. When like you have an infection in a small part, of like yeah. your skin and it forms like a hard walled cyst around it it's just like let's just keep them all in there not let it we'll just not risk popping this it might spread to other places all right here we go we got a couple uh, good I'd, ones here I'll, I'll, I'll wait till later but it was a cyst joke cyst joke okay wait <laughs> yeah, no fine. i want to hear the cyst joke it wasn't really a joke people people could use this on their women <laughs> yeah <laughs> have i if i have I talked about my pilot idol cyst on, on the podcast? No. I haven't talked about my pilot idol cyst. See, this is information <laughs> that we should have had years ago. Back when I joined. I might have to kick you off now. You're broken. No, no, I, I, I you got have it. A pre-existing condition. <laughs> we have to count yeah, you on the podcast. Uh, no, I, I got it dug out after my first semester of college, but it's the reason I've always called myself two, uh, two butt or having two assholes. <laughs> Pile Nile cysts right where the tailbone meets the uh, meets the butt crack. Yeah, and they had to take out about a handful of uh, flesh, pus, and blood. Oh, that's gross. That was that was really I... fashionable in old timey France. So. Oh yeah. You were just in the oh, wrong yeah? time. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I thought that one was one of the King Louis though. got an anal fistula, and then it became like a huge fad Ooh. for everyone to pretend nice. they had anal fistulas. W really? Yeah. That sounds disgusting. Because hey, people man. are stupid, and they want to do whatever the royalty does. Different. How is that time. different than now? It's not. People are still stupid. <laughs> but back John, to I need to know more years. about how to how to seduce. <laughs> Teach me well, how to seduce. You need to learn more about these shit tests, man. They're gonna fuck you up if you don't know the right answers. All right, so we got another couple ones that are here. They're dumb. I'm, not, I'm just gonna go over quickly. You look like a player, or are you a player? No one's ever gonna ask you that because no one uses that terminology. It's not 2011. No. Um, it's not. The alpha response to that is, ooh, what a nice compliment. Or, you mean like basketball, baseball, football? What are you asking about? Um, okay, so alpha okay. response is like, be, make a joke. Be, be yeah. a, a normal conversation person. Yeah. yeah. Depends on the game. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Mm, I have a boyfriend. He ain't here now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go for the the joke one. I'm okay. gonna say it's something like me too. Okay. Hashtag me too. Alright. Um, no. So Matt, you said it. Um <laughs> so the problem I, with that is yeah. is I I think that that would be more of a beta response because then you're going to have to play off this game for the rest of the night. Oh. Nothing wrong with that, but if you're not, I don't, it right. depends on how you say it. It's delivery. We got some yeah. good ones here because the guy fucking jizzed all over himself giving responses to this one. Everyone's heard this one at some point. Most guys just eject and bail here, but it's always worth giving it another shot. Throwing out an alpha response here definitely takes some balls, but it's generally worth the risk. Beta response is, oh, I'm sorry, followed by eject. I love the terminology here that totally dehumanizes yeah. the process. Mm -hmm. Alpha responses, oh, that's perfect. He can bake his cookies while we go out on adventures. Is so fucking weak. Like, what is that? Uh, anyway, and another one. That's nice. Well done. Uh, okay, here's the here's the, here's some here's some actual good ones. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not really the jealous type. Uh, or, yeah, so does my girlfriend. Hey, oh. Hey. Oh, so do I. Bet mine's cuter. And then you show them a picture of your dog or cat on your phone. 
Uh, your parents must be so proud. I like the, this one's just getting shitty. <laughs> oh man, I'm so embarrassed. I thought you were a lesbian. What? No one's going to say that. that. Like, you're going to get slapped yeah, in the face. that would not... No. Are you allowed to talk to other men without his permission? Or, I don't care, which I love. Um, because... Okay, if she says, I have a boyfriend, and you say, I don't care, is the dumbest thing. Because clearly she cares because she pointed that out to you. <laughs> so, it's like, okay, well, goodbye. Like, um, anyway... We've we've only known each other for five minutes, and you're already telling me about your problems. Yeah, some of these are not very brilliant. The joke ones are good. Yeah. Um. um all right. Let's see here. <laughs> these are your best. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, I feel like we're not we're gonna really have helping sex. some people tonight. We're not gonna have sex. Um, and the beta response is, oh, I didn't think we were or anything. And the alpha response is, whoa, who said anything about sex? You need to get your head out of the gutter. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I have here's said a good that one. before. <laughs> uh, that's fine, though, because that's not like an alpha response. It's more of like a funny, like, playful response. Like, what? Uh, some of these are Sometimes real Sometimes I wonder like if these. I'm a Chad. Like Just these. I'm not, like like terrible yeah. <laughs> well there you go there's a, there's that's you know what it is matt is that there is no such thing as chads yeah you can't you can't turn you can't boil down uh being able to not like being able to you know date women and have successful relationships to one thing you know you can do lots of things and be fine anyway here's one do you think i'm fat Matt, do you think I'm fat? Here, I got you these flowers. <laughs> Ooh. Super, super, super beta. Super beta. That's what the beta would do. It's always disagreeing nobody, heavily. Nobody something. is going to ask that unless if you're like already in a relationship. Exactly, but that's a shit test. That's like, well, they say some shit, I'm out. Like... Wait, all right, so here we go. I Alpha still response. Still supposed to be hey, watching get one shit test when you're all right, really dating. Let's see if TJ can fish out the alpha response here. All right. <laughs> well, the only thing I can think of is if anything you could use to uh, if if anything you could use to uh, I, it's not, I can't talk. If anything, you could probably you could probably gain a few pounds. Let's go to Chili's. Okay, so you're being fun. But that's not what the alpha response is here. Now, note, nope. be sure to be smiling and be smart-ass when giving these responses. It's all okay. in the face and tone here. Oh, dear, you're filling up the entire room almost. You're just huge. You know, I can barely stand to look at your face sometimes. I want you to say, you know, I can barely stand to look at your face sometimes in a smart-ass way and not fail a shit test. Because that is never going to work. TJ <laughs> is barely fun. Stand to look at you. TJ TJ's is the correct one. Is to make a joke about it, you know, like in a fun way. Anyway, what what do you do for a living? Uh, it's got to be a joke answer, right? Like like male stripper or something. Okay. Now, but I think that's the also joke a answer... real job that people have. Yeah, come on. Think... Magical Magical Mike is furious that you're making fun of his profession. <laughs> the world's <laughs> second oldest profession. I think the best joke answer is to not actually say a profession. What do you do for a living? Well, I live each day out to the fullest, and that's why I'm here. Oh, nice. Deep. All right, so beta response, clearly talking a boring and crappy story about your job. All right. So this is a warning. This isn't always a shit test, but the woman is definitely trying to qualify you here. Or they're sure like just term. being a person. Yeah. Um, anyway, alpha response. This is the ultimate alpha response to everything. Guess. What do you think? 
ask a question back. That's always the penalty. <laughs> oh, that's that's the whole answer every question with a question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I clone humans. This is a good one, though. This is an actual good pickup line, by the way. What do you do for a living? Me. I pick up chicks in bars and swindle them out of their inheritance. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a good one. It's a good joke. You could you could live with that one. It's you gotta be fun. Good. You could tell a joke. No, what, what you do is you say, I pick up chicks in bars and swindle them out of their inheritance. Say it like that. That's Purify the best way. the unclean ones. <laughs> I clone humans. I am the angel of death. Um, okay. <laughs> that one's boring. This one's really dumb. I bring people to my house and pour battery acid in I brains. think you're too young. <laughs> Easy Who there, is writing Gene. this? Who is writing this? I think you're too young. No, no one no, has no, ever no, said this. No, Dahmer. Dahmer. I got my serial killer screwed up. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. It's okay. I got my Wisconsin serial killers messed up. There's enough of them. <laughs> okay. Can you buy me a drink? N- no. Can you buy me a drink? No. Or buy me a drink. Ugh. See, this is like... Oops. This is... Just don't try to pick up people in bars. It's just a bad buy place for it. Buy me a drink. It. No. What are you doing? No. What? No. So that so TJ is on the, the phone. beta response, of course. Let's try to seduce is, TJ when he gets oh, back. Oh sure, no problem. The alpha response, I think you have me confused with every other guy you've met, or just simply <clears throat> no. This is a dumb mind game that he's trying to play. A countless amount of guys are willing to do this small shit for women. But the truth is it makes you seem like you'll wait on her hand and foot, and so that's when she'll begin to treat you like as her butler. That's somewhat true, but also not true. I think a yeah. lot of women also be like, oh, that was a nice thing to do. But what you should do is talk to the woman and notice that she needs a drink and offer it rather than have ask her. She's like hanging out with you for a while and you're like, I don't know, guess. Uh, uh, maybe I don't do that. Oh, I like clone humans. And then she's like fucking... Fucking buy me a drink already. Like, you know what I mean? Because you're just not saying anything. Because you're fucking trying to pick up artist her. Um, anyway. Um, here's a good one. Does this make me look fat? That's just not a thing that actually happened. This is somebody who's learned how people are by watching television. Um, the beta response oh of course not alpha response take your clothes off and let me see first <laughs> yeah these don't work so actually what I've learned is that being a pickup artist is rather than read all of these pickup artist like advices not as like jokey guy but as serial killer guy and they sound exactly like a serial killer yeah. Like here's here's the, let's go back to some of these. I'm mad at you. Alpha responses. Good. I like you better, mad. <laughs> Easy Ooh, there, say something angry. Um. Uh, how many girls have you been with? I didn't know I was supposed to be keeping count. <laughs> I've got five or six back in my fridge. <laughs> Uh yeah, so that's uh that's pickup artists, probably serial killers. So that shit test tomato for tomato. You. Um, so yeah, this uh, red pill thing goes into shit tests, Expl- explanations, a lot of deleted users and posts on here. So you know it's the red pill forums for you. Um, it gives an explanation as well, but it it is somewhat true because it's something that I think a lot of people do in casual conversation. Like a shit test is like literally. You throwing something out there when you're in like a conversation with a bunch of people being like, man, I really, uh, really hate that, uh, sports team. And you're just like seeing, okay, are they going to like not be into talking about this? Or they are. And if they're like, why? Uh, and they're like, I watch, uh, football, but only the correct football, football, uh, soccer. And then I'm like, okay, so I'm going to go talk to someone else now. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway. TJ 
she's still That's gone. Tough. She's just gone, man. Yeah, she's gone. Remember when? Do you remember, remember when TJ I'm, was here? I just have my Twitter up here, um, and I just want to mention this. Do you remember? Because this this year has been so full of stuff. I think this might have been last year, but so the net neutrality has been struck down, which is interesting in a lot of ways, Matthew. Because I know a lot of people are saying it's the end of the world. It's not. And I, th- and I think also that the net neutrality has only existed for two years. And the world wasn't shit before that. So well, they're, I they're think... also rolling back stuff that's existed since the beginning of the internet. But what yes. we have to remember is that this isn't permanent. Well, Eventually... and also you have to remember that what happened to Uber... When they did some shitty things, like Lyft had a 60% growth in user base. I mean, like, mm-hmm. there will be lines that I think aren't going to be crossed yeah. unless there's some sort of collusion happening. And Especially... it's probably going to take so long that we'll get someone in to say, no, actually, let's make real rules for the internet and not do what probably yeah. doesn't work were the original net neutrality rules, which treated the internet like power lines. Uh, not you know like we need to come up with yeah, something it's, that it's is own perfect. Thing. It has to be its own thing. Yeah, and we need it to come up with its own thing. Actual laws, and not just like yes. based on the whims of whoever's in the FCC. Yes, exactly. This needs to be yeah, and hopefully that's something where Congress will step in. But this reminded me of here we go, Ted Cruz being on his on his Twitter game. Also, I want to say this to those Ted I on Twitter like loves like, soft incest porn. Like. <laughs> Uh, that's actually what I'm gonna talk about. So, um, <laughs> so uh, uh, le- like leftist Twitter, or whatever. If you're a Twitter guy having fun, like being a zany person on the internet, I love that. Like these like politicians now are getting like people to to draft tweets from now and being all like fancy and trying to be a hip to the new like hello fellow kids all over the internet. So here's Ted Cruz, snowflake believing online propaganda. OMG, without net neutrality, the internet is gone informed observer you know the fcc issued that rule in 2015 the internet grew quite wonderfully free from government regulation and this restores the status quo snowflake uh never mind um and then uh, of course the the respine all right fucking a uh the ratio not so great on this one um (laughs) a lot more comments than the retweets uh here we go the response from uh I don't even know how to pronounce that Irish name. What's the name where it's E O I N? Oin. Yoin. 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 Whatever. He says, Ted, let me put this issue as succinctly as possible. And he has a screen cap from the porn tweet that Ted Cruz retweeted last year, <laughs> starring the actress that looks very much like his wife. Um, uh,. With a uh, with the magical circle wheel of loading uh, on it, <laughs> so <laughs> hey Ted, uh, you know without net neutrality, your Twitter porn might get a little bit slower. Um, God, I fucking forgot about that. With all the shit that's happened, I forgot that he like totally tweeted out porn. Like, there's no yeah. way that's a hack. It's like so that was just funny. Well, I, I don't think it was a hack. I think it was somebody on some disgruntled employee or something. I could have been him though, man. It could have been him, but the fucking funny Trump's thing got is, his like, phone. in in a pre-Trump era, that would have been like a career ender or like something that would have taken a shitload of damage control. And now it's just like Wednesday. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I honestly don't think it's gonna. The impact isn't going to be major because what's going to happen is, like. All of these companies that are opposed to net neutrality are your Facebooks, your Googles, your Netflix, all these. Because these are the companies that the ISPs are going to be like, all right, we'll pay us more. If you want to have yeah. 4K streaming, you're going to have to pay us more. Or we're going to slow it down. And, and that's then the thing. It's going to be on the the, 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 the provider's yeah. side that most of the shit. But that's not going to be the problem. Because Netflix is going to be fine. They're just going to be like, all right, fine. Like, we'll pay it. We have the money. We'll pay it. Like, everyone else is going to have to pay it. What's going to suck is the small companies, 
the newly created web companies are going to be like, well, we're fucked because we can't afford to pay for the fast lane on the internet, so no one's going to use our service. It's literally mm. like creating monopolies and make and reducing the amount of innovation that can happen. That's the real problem. Is it's going to have a barrier for entry, you know, for everything now, and it's just fucked up. It's bullshit. Who? No one thinks it's a good idea. The majority of Republican senator or, or uh, um, was they they put a bill out for um like uh or, or like a petition or something for like the congressman to sign and like 123 out of like the 200 and like 30 whatever republican senators did not sign it <laughs> like it is not a universal liked thing so I, mm. I have a feeling that could easily be something that would be overturned because um if there's one thing that i mean like think about it this way if you're if you coke okay, so you're the gop you're in power now this seems fine because it's a, good, it's a it's a win for big businesses. You got the telecom companies; they're huge um, donors. They they they're lobbyists. They're they're telling you that this is going to be better for the economy. You know, they're they're letting you know all this stuff. Um, that's fine. And you know what? Maybe if uh, we could uh, make uh, BuzzFeed run a little bit slower, then there wouldn't be so many uh, funny memes making fun of Ajit Pai's terrible meme video that he made. Um, you know what I mean? And like, okay, but you got to turn this around. What if you go out of power? You know what I mean? Like it's this all this. It's the same thing with the with the um, um, redistricting and the um, what's it called? Yeah, gerrymandering. 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 Yeah. It's like what if you're not in power then? It fuck you. It should just be equal. Like that's America. <laughs> like it should just be equal opportunity. Well, see, that's the thing that has kept. It's so short sighted because they're about exactly. to lose exactly. the majority. <laughs> and they're going to make it easy. It's it's the nuclear option in the Senate, which they didn't do, at least for the Supreme Court nominees. But you know, fuck's sake, like yeah. But 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 for co- confirming cabinet members now, right? You just need a simple majority. Is that the one? That's they fine because cabinet members don't really make a fucking difference. <laughs> I mean, people can. There's a couple. Can, Shout about how cabinet members are this and that, but honestly, cabinet members are just doing what the president tells them to do, ninety percent of the time. So they're just fucking garbage people usually. Um, yeah, the senator or the uh, the Supreme Court justices and the and the the federal court justices are are the big deal, and those are still kind of anyway. Oh, anyway, who knows? Also, uh, it turns out John McCain might not be able to vote on the tax bill, and also. That leaves them with one person that they can defect in the Senate. So yeah. we'll see what happens. Because <laughs> uh, I think, um, yeah. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> hey, think about it. how about that own and all three uh, branches of the government? How's that working out? No, it's really okay. working out. Yeah, very much working out. Mm-hmm. But we're not a politics show. No, we're not. I I, I got to commend. Alabama for doing the bare minimum, and that is yeah. <laughs> not electing an accused child molester. You know? I, when when this when the allegations first started coming out, I texted John. I was like, "What do you think Alabama's more likely to elect a child molester or a Democrat?" Turns out, very slightly more likely to elect a Democrat. You know what the best part about it is? It, it, it's it's so selfish as well because humans are the worst fucking animals in the world. Is like literally the reason that was coming out with people that said that they normally would vote Republican, but they didn't vote Republican, where I don't want Alabama to look bad. I don't want myself to look bad because yeah. we elected this guy. Like if, if, if everyone was for this guy and everyone was, even though he was a horrible bigot, even before the, um, the whole deal, like yeah. before the uh, allegations like, came out. Yeah, really so bad at riding a horse. That was a step too far. Which he is went great. On, if I remember correctly, he also went on record saying that all the amendments after the tenth should just be eliminated. Yeah, yeah which is you know like the ones that let women slavery, and black so. people vote and like the one that uh, uh, allows for democratically elected congressmen. That's Income after that. Tax. Um, yeah. There's uh, there's president and vice president on the same ticket. There's. Uh, <laughs> Two terms for the president. Um, yeah. He's just a dumbass. I don't think he knew what any of those... I don't think he was like... I think he only cares about the Specifically being a douche about it. 
like I think he just didn't know what I I don't think he knows what any of the amendments do. And I hope Joris. that uh he he's not able to fade into obscurity. I hope that even though he's lost his race, he still gets pursued by legal action and eventually gets uh gets what's coming to him. Yeah, I mean if those allegations prove true and they seem from what we've seen very cre- credible at this point, like mm-hmm. I hope he goes away, you know, and gets shut up. Let's see here. Can we can we talk about the way. other segment of the week that uh, Matt wanted me to start? Because I got one already. Uh, you said this on the on the chat on the line chat. I know oh, you don't yeah. have one, Let but if you could get a that. duck quacking noise, eventually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! If you stall for like, no, it's fine. Um, I'll stall. Uh, no, it's just, it's just, I can just vamp. Stall. All right, TJ so, Van. While you're looking for it, I bought a game. Hmm. Wait, let me see. Sorry, I have my I have my screen up. I need to get two monitors. I'm going to use the fund to buy a monitor. <laughs> this was on sale last week for twenty bucks. Wheel of Fortune Jeopardy for the PS4, huh? Yeah, I, I put I put a Twitter. I've heard those aren't out. terrible. Well, it's 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 Ubisoft, not the one that's made by a. Uh... It's not the ones made by uh, originally THQ and then bought yeah. out by by Nordic. Yeah. Um, I've not played it yet because I only just got it. And um, the big thing with it, it, the reason I wanted to get this, um, but not for forty bucks, but twenty bucks was a great price. Yeah. Is uh, online play. Yeah, you can play some. A lot, some, of, the uh, ones, Wheel of a lot of the old ones didn't have online play, so that's why I put the Twitter poll out whether I should buy this for Xbox or PlayStation, uh. and only one person voted. Nice. And, and then I made him buy it. Nice. So <laughs> we'll see on the stream. So if anyone wants to play Wheel of Fortune or Jeopardy with me, specifically Jeopardy, because Wheel of Fortune is boring now. Yeah, um, I love Jeopardy. I play Jeopardy on my Alexa every day. Er day. Do you think? Do, do you know if I can go on Twitch and stream me ripping old VHSs from my parents' basement? I want to do that. Yeah, next just week. IRL. There's no rules to IRL. All right, that sounds IRL. good. I might do creative. A Twitch- well, because it's going to be like old, like TV shows and stuff. So I don't know if you do like what I tried to do the other day, where I had the big thing of use your words in my screen, and then in the bottom corner, I was yeah. basically just going to host use your words and let everyone else play. In the bottom Wait. corner, I had a yeah. Persona Three. TJ, I think I heard something weird. I don't yeah, know. It, it so sounded like I. a rumble. I, I don't know. Do you hear that? It's... Earthquakey. What is hmm. Oh, you know what? That's the ducks. We got it. We got milkshake duck of the week, boys. So this milkshake. Is I'm thinking of milkshake duck. Uh, for those who don't know what milkshake duck is, that is a um, uh, a public figure who uh, is a, immediately beloved for something they've done, and then immediately turns out to be an awful person. Uh, so it's, uh, I believe that was a, t- a tweet from, um, oh boy, I'm going to get this Twitter user wrong and they deserve the credit for this. So they've added the parlance of our times. Um, oh, now I need you to vamp. I want you to guess what it is, TJ. So now, first of all, um, oh, that's not it. But anyway, um, no, it's, it's, it's the, it's the kid who was bullied. No, but that's a good one. We'll, one. You know what? We'll do we'll do our our first one. Uh, we'll have two. Uh, who is okay. Milkshake Duck here? Oh, come on, come the fuck on. Know your meme. You don't even have the person who invented it. All right, here. Wait, there's a Wikipedia article for it. Ben Ward pixelated boat. Twitter user. There we ben go. Ward. Yep. Uh, so yeah, uh, the tweet goes, and we'll say we'll say the tweet because this is the inaugural one. I know we talked about it in the past, but. Um, where's the tweet? Give me the tweet. Give me the link I've, to the tweet. I've, I've, God I've got damn it. it. I've got it. What you got say? It. I'll read it. The whole internet loves Milkshake Duck, a lovely duck that drinks milkshakes. Five seconds later, we regret to inform you the duck is racist. Yes. So that's a good one. But let's talk. So that's I Stand with Keaton. Let's go over that one. Since since TJ brought up, do you want to explain uh, the standing with the Keaton that happened over the weekend? I was so, surprised yeah. at how quickly this milkshake ducked. Yeah. This yeah, was insane like, to me because the whole like rise and fall happened 
without my knowledge. It was a so I just logged on Twitter rise. and I was like, what the yeah, fuck? But, but I thought the rise was like slow, gradual, with really, it peaked really, really quickly before it dropped. Mm-hmm. Um, because it was going over a couple of days. There's this kid um, from Tennessee, I think near Knoxville, um, who um, was in a car. Um, someone was videotaping him, basically him talking about himself being bullied, but how he's trying to maintain a positive attitude about it. I didn't actually watch the video, but that's that's what no, I was getting I the majority of the thing. And um, there was a lot of uplifting stuff. There were like, even a college I used to work for is basically saying, "Hey, uh, when when you get to be of college age, there's yes. a spot for you here." Yeah, I retweeted it. It's literally um, you can you here. We'll pay for your fucking college. Not the whole thing, but there's scholarship. Some, you know? like that's so, a pretty just, decent yeah. thing for nothing. Exactly. And that was Tennessee Tech, where I used to work. Because for, for was what, pretty close. For what turned out to be possibly something more sinister than what we originally saw. Yeah. Um, I don't know how... I ha- other than stuff with his mom, I don't know the specifics of, of how it flopped. I just know it flopped and flopped bad. So you'll have to fill in the blanks here, because I don't, I don't know the details. Okay, so so let's... Oh, man. I gotta find like the, an article about this thing. Fucking... Stand mm-hmm. with Keaton. So be a fucking... the way I saw it was Snopes. Uh, here we go. I saw Chris Evans tweeted at him to like invite him to a premiere, and I was touched. Yep. I was very touched. But then I kept reading, and I was like, "Oh, this celebrity is offering him something. This celebrity is off. This celebrity. This celebrity. This is getting out of hand. This is a little bit. This is weird. This is bad. This is gonna go bad. It's gonna go real bad." So, yeah, I think this is part of why the internet is the worst thing because people like reactionarily will jump on shit like this and just like try and project their own like insecurities or their own experiences or like literally this kid crying about being bullied, which I mean, it happens, man. That's shitty. Um, Yeah. It is people just like talking or thinking about every time they've been bullied. And so we're talking about celebrities like Justin Bieber, Gal Gadot, LeBron James, Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo, asking them to be joined on the red carpet for the fucking premiere of the next. Yeah. They, they can't just Avengers offer movie. support. They have to be like free trip out, out to California, free college yes, tuition. This is a brand thing. And, and it's all from a good place, but it's also not from a good place. This is literally reminds me of the Mr. Show sketch where, um, one of the characters was talking about how he, was uh oh you know i do all these charities uh and actually i read comic strips for a blind guy and then the the, he's reading these comic strips for this blind guy over the phone the guy's just like okay whatever like get the fuck off the phone i have shit to do like this is for (laughs) you more than it is for me because it's making you feel good and you can brag about it to your friends um so a third party gofundme page for keaton's family reached quickly Raised over 56000 before it was closed for donations. Now, this it happens a lot with these things because they blow up so quickly. Is A lot of times people set up a GoFundMe page that is not in any way related to the family. And people just fucking just like, yeah, here's 10 bucks, Yeah, here you go. You get millions of people doing that and you suddenly have fucking thousands of dollars that you've got. Um, so December 11, 2017, initially a feel-good story of support for a bully child veered into controversy. A purported screenshot of Keaton's mother's Facebook page began circulating, apparently showing family members posing, including Keaton himself, with a uh, Confederate flag, uh, saying, I stand for the flag, and all, all that not. Uh, internet users quickly responded, likening face his, uh, f- this is the mother of the child, uh, Facebook post to bullying aimed at black people. This says, Dear Butthurt Americans, if you aren't bleeding, no no bones are sticking out and you can breathe. Stop crying. For the love, some folks clearly never picked a switch, which is hilarious. So this person probably has hit her child. And before you all yeah. start talking to me about the metaphorical, emotional, financial, or historical blood and brokenness, don't. Join a group. Hashtag, y'all need some porch therapy. I don't know what that is. Hashtag, coffee with Jesus. I don't know what that means. Hashtag something, hashtag fine. Some bad hashtags here. Um, So, yeah, the kid is... uh, Jones later confirmed this in an interview with CBS that the photographs were authentic, but I'm not racist. No, no, of course not. They're the only photos. No, the the Confederacy was totally about states' rights. (laughs) It's nothing to do with that whole slavery thing. 
are the only two photos on my entire planet where I am even anywhere near a Confederate flag. It was ironic. It was funny. I was just carrying a Nazi flag because it was funny. It was a joke. Yeah, you can't, say, give, you can't, can't take a joke, PC. People can't take a joke. Um, no, no, absolutely not. I've spent most of my life being bullied and judged, which is funny because, you know, you have these, you know, and this is majority black Twitter kind of came to this, was like, you know, maybe this kid was saying racist things to these kids and they're bullying him back. You know what I mean? Like, how can you yeah. tell this mom looks like a bully? Um well, and that these However, like these people that are like the, the the people that are obsessed with the Confederate flag, they have this huge per- persecution complex. So if if someone tells them to take their racist flag down, they're like, "Oh, I'm being bullied. I know how it feels to be bullied because I'm being bullied." Yeah, I mean, that, and that also cuts both ways too. Because I mean, like this this kid probably has nothing to do with any of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like not. the like like seriously because there is very little about this on the snow page snopes page because this happened like recently this is three days ago <laughs> so um so uh yeah and the, now there's a recent um uh person um mentioning that the instagram account that had those photos from it um was not her mom she her her instagram's private um the gofundmes aren't by any of us <laughs> so that fifty-seven thousand dollars was donated is not anyone related. Those who know me and my family know we aren't racist. My brothers and say the N word. Please leave them alone. We aren't verified. We aren't verified. Yeah, that's the other thing. People, they 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 started. I don't know if there were rumors or what, but uh, that he was like he got bullied because he was saying like racist slurs yeah. and stuff. And it's yeah. just like this the, is internet, just the internet is just the up. worst place. Yeah, and this is all because I, I blame all the uh, the celebrities and stuff that were trying to latch onto this for publicity. They skyrocketed this kid to internet fame and probably ruined yeah. his 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 winter. Well, and the worst part about this is she, the mom did the video of this, and she's gonna post it. You know what I mean? This is like kind of the same shit where like you got moms videotaping their kids. After they got gassed for getting their wisdom teeth taken out. Like, they're doing this yeah. to try and get a viral reaction. You know what I mean? Like, this is... Like, this Daddy is, This kid was having a moment. This kid was having a really bad moment. And rather than being like, okay, kid, I'm here for you. Like, tell me everything. Like, let's let's talk it out. She was like, whoa, stop. Let me get my camera out. <laughs> I got to videotape you. So many you. likes, so many retweets. Um... So anyway, uh, here's what the GoFundMe was created by him. Joseph Lamb said he created it for the family. <laughs> anyway, I love that. It's like, I'm doing this for them. Don't worry. I'm going to give them the money. And the family's like, we don't even know who this person is. We've never heard about it. Um, as many of you know, I pause the donations as well as the comments. As I sit back and read these comments and watch the video again, I have to feel like I make this update. This is not about the mom. However, passing judgment on her. By the way, also, if you're going to give money, it's going to the mom. Because the kid's under 18. Uh, Why does he need money for being bullied? I know. None of it makes sense. Judgment on her before you know her is a form of bullying. What was good were like the celebrities saying, hey, kid, sucks that you got bullied, but you're cool. You know what I mean? Like, don't. That's good. Like, having a celebrity saying. This kid, like, it's just totally misguided to be like, oh, you're experiencing emotional pain? Here's financial gifts. That'll fix it, right? It's just like he do, he doesn't need money yeah. and red carpet memories and stuff. He needs yeah. somebody to comfort him. Yeah, just say hey, like you know, like having like Chris uh, Evans being like, "Hey, kid, I was bullied when I was in grade school too, and all those kids suck now, and I'm a movie star. So just keep your head high." Yeah, man. he was like, Ramona F- Flowers' ex boyfriend. Yeah, so, oh, one of the best that's ones. A, that's the best thing he's done. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, I love that character. God, that movie's good. Anyway, I don't know. I like Brandon Ruth too. Yeah, they're all great. Um, <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is so great. This is not about the mom. How, this is the, the the writer of the the GoFundMe page. However, passing judgment on her before you know her is a form of bullying. Condemnation before evaluation is the ultimate form of ignorance. I don't know if this is bull- bullying as much as it is being ignorant. <laughs> I can't even say for sure of anything that was being said is true. I don't know the family personally, although I did set up a GoFundMe page that has thousands of dollars on it. 
what the fuck? And I've never claimed to have known them. Like, this is the most insane shit. Like, I'm going to set up a GoFundMe page of this family. I don't know them. I've never talked to them. I don't claim to know them. Like, what the fuck? Uh, this is a person trying to make a fucking buck. We have to be a voice for the voiceless. Yes, because this kid who has a viral internet video is voiceless. <laughs> <laughs> the internet is anyway. just the worst. Yeah. It is. Like, don't. I'm glad a Jeep Pie is killing it. We can't <laughs> handle the internet. Yeah, we don't deserve the internet. Basically. We don't deserve this. <laughs> no, can I talk about the real milkshake duck that I had prepared for this? Although yes, the other go... one's way better than this one. Go ahead. So do, you, do you remember the Game Awards last week? We talked about it a little bit. Yeah. Do you remember mm, yes. who won the Trending Gamer? No. Because the... that one doesn't matter. Dr. Disrespect, the pub. Oh, streamer. yeah. Okay. He, uh, uh, he, he is, uh, you know, Dr. Disrespect. And somebody on Twitter, I don't remember who it was on my Twitter, just said, all right, how long until this guy gets milkshake duck? <laughs> Countdown to the milkshake ducking of Dr. Disrespect. Well, it's happened immediately. Uh, it's been like four days. Well, it's been one week, basically. Um so he had a fucking I'm gonna get real stream where he talks to his audience, uh, saying um, I'm gonna take off some time to focus on my stupid fucking mistakes. He said visibly in tears, which is a little bit out of character. I'm gonna take time off and focus on my family. He admitted to uh, being unfaithful to his wife. Um, so, boom, ba doom, boom. <laughs> is that guy it? who acts I mean... like a terrible asshole. And playing PUBG, turned out he was fucking cheating on his wife and his family. So, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. this is guy that, beat is that a, uh, is that enough a man who milkshake doesn't have an though? arm and speedruns games as the trending gamer. Sorry, what? It's. Just, I feel like in today's climate, uh, cheating with a consensual partner is fairly low on the milkshake dot list. Oh, I know. Yeah. I think it's not bad, but it's <laughs> what I'm saying is it's just interesting because like I one trying to gamer and then immediately he's like, I'm gonna step away from streaming for a while. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just mm -hmm. like wow. So milkshake ducked very quickly. Um of course not on the level of being horribly racist, but that's it. I think the Keaton thing was he might a much be better. Thing horribly to racist out. too, I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We're not going to know. Um, anyway, Cause you know, I learned take, from that random it. GoFundMe creator that we shouldn't judge people that we don't know, no matter how much evidence there is. All right, guys, I came up with a new uh, crowdfunding platform, which okay. you uh, like to hear. So you yep. just said, the way you said GoFundMe is I, I misheard you as a uh, GILF fund me. <laughs> GILF fund me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so it's, it's like, a, a, it's a bunch of GILF. It's grandmother cam yeah. girls. <laughs> They all have just a Gilf load of money. Me. Yeah. They uh that uh, women generally live longer than men, so they have yeah. double the money. Uh, no, they need yeah. double the money. That's why they no, have they'll... to be funded. No, I thought the no, gilfs see, were the, funding the, us. Oh yeah, no, no. Right. No. Gilfs fund me. Gilfs oh, fund me. Okay, gilfs fund me. Okay. Yes. So yes. you do it's things all... for gilfs. Yes, so you're yeah. like yeah, yeah. sugar grandmas. Got it. Sugar grandmas. Sugar grandmas. There's the episode title, boys. <laughs> oh, sometimes they come so naturally that I just kind of... And sometimes the sugar granny will ask you to come so naturally. Um, oh, boy. Oh. Hey, that they needed to. That uh, was off the heezy for sheezy. Oh, man, sugar granny is great. That. That's a great term. There has to be a real innocent thing Wait, about it, that. It, isn't sugar grannies like a candy? No, that's sugar daddy. Sugar daddies. There should be sugar grannies. But like sugar grannies it's, is totally it's hard like it's hard like an hour later. That's totally like a Disney <laughs> channel. Oh no. Like Oh thing. no. Oh no. no. Why did I search that? I found an article on sugardaddy.org. <laughs> no. Okay, no, no. You're you're perverting this. I want to say sugar, sugar daddies, grannies, sugar mommies. Stop. Now sugar grannies. Sugar Relationships grannies. with age gaps can often give people a lot to oh, talk fuck. about. An octogenarian with a twenty-something blonde on his arm often don't, turns heads, more so don't when the sex is Oh God, I am searched. Yep, I know. 
Th- oh, it's not that bad. I don't know. if They're blurred on the main page for uh, for Bing. Let's see. Um, nope, some of those are pretty bad. I don't see this anything is, on this here. This has to be not... You're, you're Googling. You need a Bing search. No. Safe I got search safe off. search. I got, I got safe search off, baby. Are you so the last Bing? paragraph on this Sugar Granny's article is... It's just one I person, never though. thought in a million years I'd be 72 and pregnant and in love with my grandson. I make no apologies, and I believe God's given me a second chance. So this has okay. to be a parody site, right? Right? Sure. For the love of God. Can we talk about... Can we talk about... Um, I wanted to say that the Sugar Grannies is probably like a, like a real innocent thing. It's on like a Disney Channel, like a, like a cartoon or something where they're like... Like they're trying to be like funny, like sugar grannies or like sugar days, but like the sugar granny is like, oh, I dress up in my sailor suit when I see grandma because she'll give me candy then, you know, like, or I, I, um, I sing my ABC song to grandma and she gives me a toy. Like she's my sugar granny. Like I see a totally innocent version of this existing, but also it's horribly not innocent. (laughs) Because the internet exists, as does Rule Thirty Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Okay, I see I Matt's it. eyes lit up like dinner something. plates when he saw something <laughs> on the internet. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the doc to a YouTube. Uh, no, video. put it in the Discord, please. Throw it in the Discord without any explanation. Why is there a YouTube? Why is it a YouTube? Or you can throw it in the Discord. Uh, uh, general discussion or the bite cast discussion. Bite cast discussion, yeah. Either one. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm awaiting it. All right. Okay. Oh, you, general... you're still loading. I shouldn't have done that. You should have uh, done the other way. Uh, I didn't I'm nervous. It would take you so long. I already. Oh, Sugar Granny trailer. What? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is this? All right. Oh, is this a porno? On YouTube, I don't know. So That's be. what I thought, but then they started being puppets, and now I don't know. Oh. Oh, it starts off. Oh, wait, so it's like way. a puppet grandmother that he bangs? This is a fetish somewhere. What is sex with puppets called? Puppet This is the questions that I make me, that I ask to myself that make me question all of my life decisions. Well, you look that up. I'm gonna go take. Ah, uh, here we go. I've got, it's got a name. A a galmato a galmatophilia. A galmatophilia, which is uh, sexual attraction to statue doll or mannequin. So, boom, you're into them uh, ventriloquism dolls. You've got that. That's our that's our new word of the week. TJ's still here, but Matt's peeing. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So, what, what was it called? Uh, algalmatophilia. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a really long word. Onomatopoeia. <laughs> Let's see if Google can fucking translate that horrible algatomophilia. Um. Algato A L. No, I'm I'm joking. Uh, f- sex with puppets fetish. Al uh, a galmophilia, a galmophilia, a galmatophilia. There it is. Because it sounds like the word you want it to be like amalgamophilia, like an amalgam, which I think it must be where it's from, but it's called a galmatophilia. Anyway, so that's it. Uh. A galmatophilia became a subject of clinical study with the publication of Richard von Kraft Ebing's Psychopathia Sexualis. He recorded an 1877 case of a gardener falling in love with the statue of the Venus de Milo and being discovered attempting coitus with it. There was a dude trying to fuck a statue in a garden. That happened. Let me turn on my speakers. So this is like the 4chan where they people are fucking like jizzing all over like anime dolls. A galmatophilia. Yep. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Oh, and this is going into like real dolls. Yep. Information about real dolls. What are real dolls um, like nowadays? How much I is a real doll? They're, real they're doll better. cost. Um, I, I'm on in private, so let me find out. Oh God! Don't look up real dolls on without safe search on. Exactly. No. That's in private. Not I mean, obviously, edge. I Jesus. I mean, I guess you got to know what the goods look like if that's what you're buying. I'm not Some an American you. girl doll. Mm. <laughs> That's a different thing. Now, there are some real doll babies that I'm seeing here that are very disgusting looking. From seven fifty to ten thousand dollars. Real doll on the baby size what? and customization. Well, they're like they're like so truly real, like infant doll for like your kid. Oh, but it's like those in the are for same people like, that, like have lost a kid or something. I know, but it's like so like weird because it's in the same like search as real dolls. <laughs> <laughs> because right. it's real and all. Do, do, do you do you want to know some of the ranges for, for the different types? Yeah, there's many types. Okay. All right. The semi-inflatable Man, is going to vary between about two hundred to going on. Yep. The, the semi-inflatable is between about two hundred to three hundred dollars. Um, a solid doll is going to be between five hundred and seven hundred dollars. Okay, this um, is not bad. Silicone dolls are between seven fifty and ten thousand dollars. Okay, ten thousand is a bit high. Uh, TPE dolls, which is another set of polymer with silicone-like features, um, this is going to range between five hundred and two thousand dollars. Yep, that's basically it. Apparently, the TPE doll is definitely the preference for boob lovers. Well, you know where I'm at. Yep. And where can we find that? Join our Patreon so, so we could buy I a found a pretty top. good article here. <laughs> you posted a picture <laughs> on Discord. What? <laughs> There's nothing oh, sexual in that image. It's cropped tastefully. And and he's going to wash her. So it's fine. Uh, I want to, because there's a Daily Mail article added to this. Married Japanese man claims finally love sex doll, which he takes shopping they go on romantic days out and even bathes her. She's in a wheel. He, he drives around in a wheelchair. Only like in Lars Japan, and the real folks. Doll. Lars and yeah, the real this, girl. This episode's going to be in the top twenty-five. Oh, this is fucked up. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm sorry, di- people that are on our Discord. I'm gonna actually put the article that goes with that image just for the cl- clarity. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get off this subject. Let's let's find I, something else. Pl- yes, please. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, fuck. I, I, thank you. I play, oh, Matt, you haven't talked in a while. You yeah, something. Matt. What about your VR times? I played uh, Fallout VR. Uh, <gasps> it's out. I heard it's it is. interesting. Because it's it's... it works as you would want VR to work, right? It does, kind of. It's... Yeah, like it, it goes for it. It's the whole game in VR. Yeah, uh, exactly. Something tells me that I would use VATS a lot that way. Because there's no way I'd want to keep it yeah. in the first person. Yeah, so when you use VATS, it goes like slow motion. And then wherever you're aiming the gun, it will highlight specific body parts. Uh, so it's... I don't know. The controls are a little bit wonky just because it's like an adaptation. Uh, I feel like compared to games that are developed specifically for VR, it's way okay. behind. Uh, specifically, like the Pip Boy like menu system is really difficult to deal with. Uh, okay. But I'm enjoying being in that world and playing with Doc Meat and completely uh, ignoring Preston Garvey and just kind of chilling, <laughs> killing stuff. That reminds me, I actually got the uh, the motion controllers. I should try Skyrim with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. I'm on the uh, the real doll site. Secure dot real doll dot com. Uh, I'm oh. building. I'm customizing my real doll here. I'm picking the options that I want. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, which face option do I want? These. I want to say the real doll two, which is the newest one, are fucking creepy. Uncanny Valley. Yeah, they are. Like, really close to looking like people. I don't um, mind. 
let's see here. We can get different lip colors, different skin. Oh, let me let me get mine the one that I want. All right, so we got. You know what? I'm gonna go with the Japanese face just because the first option and it seems like the most likely option for purchase. Um, no, let's go Quinn. She's a redhead. I, I'm all, I'm all in. No, all we'll in go, for we'll Quinn. Go, we we'll go with Natalie. She's redhead. Uh, we got we got different body types here, depending on your uh, what what do you want for your measurements? Oh, this one seems like the best one because it has gel implants in buttocks and breasts, which so you know that's the bit that's the curviest. So let's get all let's get all that badonka donk in there. I'm gonna see what my price is when we get here. Let's go with uh, medium skin. You know, or that. Well, I like a good red lip color course let's get red lipstick red 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 toenail and fingernails what eye color do i want do i want a brown eye girl hazel i think you want green. Ooh, ad- additional uh fifty dollars for additional eight high realism eyes let's Ooh. go with espresso um eye upgrades okay let's get that upgrade veins select option 50 25 extra dollars Hand painted acrylic eyes are. Oh, this is the most expensive. I want that one. There's um, somebody wow. in the factory hand painting eyes for real dolls. I'd like. I'd like hand punched eyebrows. That seems like the most expensive. Um, oh, you know, photo of style must be provided by hot customers. So if you want to have your own specific eyebrows, you can do that. Um, let's get the smoky eye, heavy eyeliner style. We'll do. We'll do gray with smoky eye. I don't care about this. Custom makeup. Nah, let's go with the default hair color. Obviously the red. Um, hair style. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Which is the, let's get the longest. That's the most expensive. Okay. Now we're into the brass tacks, boys. Vaginal attachment style. <laughs> what the fuck removable, does that mean? Removable or permanent? Well, do I want to be able to swap out vaches? Well, I think... <laughs> You want to be able to clean it, at least, I would assume. Yeah, well, you can clean it if it's not out. I don't know. I always have to take my vagina out to clean it, so... Oh, so it's an insert. So it's what, like, pops out of the bottom. You can have it. It's like a flashlight. Yeah, basically. Like, literally. I mean, it's exactly what it is. Well, let's go with style uh, E, because I don't want to look at these anymore. Um... (laughs) You can get multiple extra inserts. Wow. An extra insert is $250. And I'm pretty sure a flashlight is not going <gasps> Oh, guys. Optional extras. Elf ears. No elf ears or add elf ears. Do yes. they have an option add for blue ears. skin? $350. Elf uh, add piercings, elf ears, no. blue skin, and a tail. Let's do custom freckles face only. Um... One cup size larger breasts, only eight hundred fifty dollars more. I think the oh, one I chose was double D's. Go for that deal? It double D's though. I'm already <laughs> bountiful here. Um, custom nipples. <laughs> for information and photos, <laughs> click here. This is so like. So is this like? This is so want... beyond like clinical at this point. <laughs> Like, well, what do with I this, want? all this custom stuff that they require pictures for, is this like if you want to recreate your favorite porn star or something? Like, this is what the nipples need to look like. All right, let's go with uh, let's go with uh, pubic hair option. The carpet will match the drapes. We'll go with there's you have full trimmed or natural. <laughs> What's the difference between full <laughs> and natural, dear? God, the options. I no wonder this is so like huge. Like like the the, the we we've gotten to real doll to optional transgender converter. This yeah, insert people to make it a man. You swap out or, the vag for a Oh, yeah. so it's just like it's like a Okay. Okay, it's I want the right. stand club real doll access. Sixty dollars for a year of access. I don't know what that is. VIP membership in the message boards. Guys, I kind of want to go on their message boards <laughs> just to see what the world is like. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit purchase this item. Um, let's see what my package. All right, here we go. My package. Oh, two thousand three hundred. Six thousand one hundred and fifty-nine. All right, let's let's go fund me. I'm, I'll, no, I'll yeah, start. go fund me, please. 
Yeah, set up so a we'll GoFundMe we'll real quick. We'll pass her around. I need someone to get in the carpool lane. No, I don't. I don't. You want sloppy want... seconds? I don't want. I can cry into a video and we'll get a GoFundMe going. There's a Wicked yes. Real doll. Oh, the Wicked Real dolls are based on Wicked brand porn stars, which is the creepiest. Oh, is that imagine. what that was? Because I saw those and I couldn't figure out yeah. what that difference. So was. they're pre-configured to be. Oh, you know what? But I don't even need to like configure. I can just go with the real doll, and I can go with. Give me a pre-configure. Just give me, give me one you came up with, like Kaori. Configure one. The very first one. 5,000. Like, I don't need to come with all this fucking shit. Like, Tanya, Tanya's good enough for me. <laughs> Holy God. Oh, this, it's so, it's so weird. What a weird thing. So that's, uh, that's the word of the week. A, a, a galmatophilia, which is the sexual attraction to a statue, doll, or mannequin. No, is, is that... Like the movie Mannequin. Is there a separate word for falling in love with an inanimate? mannequin it's called lars and the real girl okay <laughs> um but actually there's a real there's a bunch of really good documentaries about real girl like owners that are interesting like I, there was one that i saw that was really interesting because like he's he's uh they they like have a relationship like it's like a wife they get, like wheelchairs around so but not, not really. anyway so it's like if you want a relationship but you don't have to actually treat your partner like a human here's so a doll Matt, for you i cut you off with your real with your fallout for vr what on the scale of zero to vomit train is it at i haven't had motion sickness at all but i'm pretty used to your vr you're... stuff so tj would die probably uh i don't no, know a lot of the other there's VR stuff i was fine with yeah, there's uh your PSVR though what made you sick, you said. Just that game. Oh, just, just Skyrim. Just one game. Yeah. The, you you can do free move and you have like the the vignette things that go on the eyes, but you can also just switch it to a teleportation mo movement mode, which is actually better cuz the free move seems kind of slow unless if you're sprinting. Um yeah, it's kind of like Visually, it's not great. I think they're going to work on optimizing, uh, making stuff look sharper because it, it's difficult to shoot stuff that's far away because it's all a little bit blurry. But I think they're that's a, a, a bug they're conscious of and they're working on. And it's really yeah. neat. And I want to live there forever. Um, can we talk about... Matt, can you talk about as uh, our local Jack Conti enthusiast? Uh, can you talk <laughs> about Patreon? Yes, we talked about this last week a little bit. Yeah, so basically, I was confused. I didn't realize that they were passing those costs to the people pledging. Yeah, yes. so what the, I thought the, they were just the, the transaction fees pledges. and stuff were being paid by the. Uh, the creators and they passed it on to being paid by the the funders and i yes. that caused a, a big shit fit and it caused a run on the bank and a bunch of a lot uh, of people left patreons and it, and it, with good reason because if you're donating a dollar to something and then you're gonna actually have to pay a dollar 38 with the taxes I and yeah the fees. i guess i know it didn't seem like a big deal to me but well i also, I'm really bad with money, so I don't really know where my money goes. But, but imagine if you're someone who's like, I like all of these podcasts, these small time podcasts that I listen to. Um, this is kind of the way I am, where I have like, f like multiple single dollar donations going to multiple websites because I want to contribute. I want to just be, you know, like uh, give away. And so that would rack up for me. You know what I mean? Mm. Like maybe I yeah, should give five to one thing. Which is annoying. And if I'm because thinking I want of it, like spread it around. If 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 I was actually like doing Patreon stuff frequently, and I was thinking of, do I want to pay those fees or do I want my patrons to pay those fees? I'd be like, no, I'll take care of it. It's fine. Uh, but they mm -hmm. they reversed course on that. They said we fucked up. Uh, we're not going to do that. 
anymore. And they also sent out an email with the tool for people that have canceled their uh, pledges to resubscribe yep. easily. So sounds like they, uh, they're they doing everything right so I can still uh, have Jack Conti as a hero. I, you know what? I like it, though, because you know what? They fucked up. They thought this yeah. was a good solution. Everyone hated it. And rather than being the FCC chairman and looking at the thousands and hundreds of thousands of people yelling at how terrible this is, um, this is, uh, they're like, you know what? Let's go back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, well, the, so that, that's it, good for it, them. It just speaks to what kind of platform it is. Because if you're someone like Facebook, and you're just you're a platform that everyone's using for free. It, you can do top down stuff. You can just make decrees that like this is the change. You're gonna deal with it, and you'll get used to it. But uh, when you're Patreon, and you not only do creators completely rely on you for their living, but you're also relying on them because nobody's gonna be on the platform if the creators leave. It's got to be a little bit more of a back and forth thing when they make a big decision. So hopefully in the future they'll uh, float ideas and ask for input on a on a, on a larger scale without uh, just saying, hey, this is what we're going to do. Get ready. Yeah. It's kind of shitty. Like... Like... The, they obviously they had to change something and they did it and everything kind of blew up and they did it though they fixed it they're like we're we're done um we're we're going back i'm sure they'll figure out a better way to roll this out next year like um yeah so i don't know i want to plug a uh uh the website all your anime.net i'm a patreon subscriber for them they have two patrons and they do a billion anime reviews. Like, and they're good and interesting. If you want to know what anime to watch, you can go to their website and read it. And be like, I want to check something out. I found some cool shows from them. So, that's pretty neat. Like, just people are really dedicated. So, I don't know. I like small. I like the small Patreons and helping them out. Can I talk about a tool that's pretty neat? It's hey, called before you do that, can I Labs. just uh, correct you yep. real quick? Sure. They have three patrons. <gasps> oh. Anyway, um, <laughs> so there's a thing called mapbox.com slash lab slash net neutrality. It'll be in the Discord. If you're not on Discord, you can find it on the website. Or it'll be on the website for this article called um, um, just on the uh, born in the 80s.net. Um, you can find out this is net. So net neutrality is gone. So. You got problems with your ISP blocking your access, find another one. This map shows you how many internet service providers you have based on your address. Um, I have two options where I live. So if my internet service provider wanted to be shitty, I really don't have much else to turn to. Um, so that I think is the problem with, with, uh, with giving ISPs powers because there's literally no competition i could go to dsl on tds which is shit in my area like and there are areas in madison this is a city of three hundred thousand people there are areas that have one provider one network charter that's it that that yeah. neighborhood has one provider and so there is no competition this is not healthy for consumers because consumers like power companies based on where their home is, have one option. It's insane. Like, just, it's just insanity to think that this is good. Because it would be fine if, if you could be like, well, I don't want to have Comcast. I'll move to Charter. Except for that you can't, because they have, like, regional lockout exclusivity in areas. <laughs> so, there's nothing you can do. There's no way to choose a different option. Like, yeah, there's no competition. There's no reason for them to be nice. And hopefully we'll get to a point 
soon where mobile internet is competitive with uh, that. It's getting there, especially in bigger like cities. Like if if we didn't coverage. do this podcast and stuff, like, it, and if I didn't have to play sweet sweet video games on the internet, like, I would yeah. be fine with just uh, an iPad and like a, a cellular a data connection. Like if I was my yeah. parents or something. Um, because if you're in an area with good cell coverage and you got 4G, you can stream 1080 video. Mm, yeah. Yep. Like with good coverage, so it's you know it's coming to be the future, and that's a lot of way. A lot of the smaller countries that don't have a centralized internet are kind of running that way. Yeah, countries that came online later without the uh, the pre existing infrastructure of like landlines and stuff. That they're all about the mobile internet and they're way ahead of us in that respect. Yeah. Because they, they were able to leapfrog that because they weren't uh they didn't have that crutch of the, the old technological infrastructure. Correct. Um Yeah, so that's uh that's the world we live in. Um I got my CPAP. Matt. Yeah? How's that how's that working out for you? I've had two nights. Did you fill it with vape juice? Yeah, I filled it with vape juice. I'm I'm just straight vaping all night, baby. <laughs> um, no, it's interesting. The technology on these CPAPs are insane at this point. I don't know, probably not where when you got one. Uh, mine has a 4G uh, SIM card in it, so it uh, no. is connected to the internet to send my sleep data to my doctor uh, wirelessly. Yeah, no, mine didn't have any of that shit. Um, it has, like, stats and stuff. They track me because if I don't use it enough, they won't pay for it, basically. Really? Insurance. Yeah. I have to use it four hours a day on my insurance or else. But I'm planning on just using it, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard to get used to. I think that's something you don't, like, get you because, like, it shoots air into your th- mouth and your yeah, nose. Yeah, so you have the full mouth mask? No, I do not. I have the I have a nose. I have a small oh, okay. nose. It's the only small part of me, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, not the only um, one. Um, but anyway. <laughs> oh. Ouch. hey oh. Um, um, but anyway, so I just have the thing that just goes over my nose. Um, and it's not the na- like the nasal pillows, which are just basically they just shove up your nostrils. I don't have that because that, that was uncomfortable for me. Because when you like yeah. shift around, it's digging in inside your nose rather than when you shift around when you have it on your face, it moves a lot. But I got like a brand new mask. It fits really well. Like it doesn't seem to leak. There's a lot of moisture in the nose cup. So sometimes when I toss and turn, I drench my nose with, with liquid, uh, which isn't great. But I'm sure mm, I can figure out ways to fix liquid. that. Um, it's just condensation from the breathing. But this is something you don't, they don't tell you. Is it's kind of hard to breathe when you're when you have one of these because it's not hard to breathe because your body, I think, instinctually tries to freak out because what's doing yeah. is blowing air into your into your into your throat, into your lungs. So it's pushing your airway open. But so when you try and exhale, it's harder than it normally is because usually to exhale you literally do nothing and your muscles just automatically exhale for you. You know what I mean? So it's something you don't think mm-hmm. of. So it makes you think about your breathing rather than the not. And so the key to it, I've learned to fall asleep, is to try and not think about breathing. And because your body's going to do it on its own, you don't have to think about breathing with a CPAP. It'll do it for you. Like your body will breathe. <laughs> like so, it's it's just it's taking some getting used to. It's not bad though. I've actually looked at my sleep tracking. It hasn't been stellar these first two nights, but I've I've slept like six hours, which is about what I was doing before in about seven and a half hours. So I'm still up an hour and a half, but due to hopefully just due to not being used to it. And yeah, we'll go to having a big thing on your face that you're not used to. But I've heard, I've heard, I mean, the only reason I got this is because my younger brother said it changed his life using a CPAP. Like he feels like, like a hundred percent more awake all the time. Like just refreshed. Like, because he just kind of felt groggy. And so, I don't know. We'll see. I'm looking forward to it. It's it's weird and kind of shitty that my sleeping routine for the rest of my life is going to include tubes. But 
It is what it is, you know. Unless I want to get that sweet ass surgery and get my voice. Yeah, lower. you should do that. Real good. <laughs> Did you know you can buy ether on Amazon.com? I already have. Now that you've said that, so so we can be old timey <laughs> doctors. Maybe we can get leeches too. I'm surprised you can buy ether on on Amazon, but I guess isn't ether like super flammable? Yeah, and pretty deadly. Yeah. Just so you know, this is not for uh, something, not for drug, human, animal, or food use. It's for photographic applications. Yeah. Don't huff it, please. Um, but rather than don't, do visit us on the internet. Matt, get the, get the music. Before we go... Oh, TJ, TJ's got one thing. I played one round of PUBG. Yes! On the X-Bone. I, get, I ended top 20. I got 19th place, my first playthrough. How does it run on the Xbox? A, a little wonky, but I don't know I've if it's I've heard not as, great. <laughs> I, I don't know yeah. if it's as wonky as the PC or whatnot, but... It's a little wonky, but I can deal with it, and I had spent a lot of time figuring out what the key bindings on the on the controller were. This is what I've heard. I've heard that it is clearly not optimized for a uh, gamepad because oh you, oh you want to use your you want use your item. It's the same button as switching your items, but you have to hold it. Yeah. Okay, figure that out. Oh, you don't have the bad. keyboard. Yeah, you don't have the yep. mouse to quickly switch between stuff. I, I, that's all. I mean, this is an early access game correct it's the yeah. game preview program so obviously they'll work on it but it's very clear that they bare minimum ported this like yeah. all right they just wanted we'll to fix take it. advantage of the buzz while it was hot they were like yeah. we need it out now yeah so but it's exciting that you can at least experience the game even if it's not perfect <laughs> matt we're gonna have to stream that next week sometime yeah, we gotta try that desert map new map they've added new vaulting map. new map vaulting new map New map vaulting. I, yep. I, I like revaulting. <laughs> I like hey revaulting. Oh. Many people say I'm revaulting all the time. Um, you can find me on the website, which is bornthe80s.net, or at twitter.com, John underscore danger. That's John without an H. That's me. And you can find me at mattagmusic.com. And pretty much only there because Twitter's garbage. It is garbage. I literally only and use YouTube's it to post dying. memes. And we're all screwed. And the internet's over. The end. Yep. Uh, you, you can find me inside Tor on, on the <laughs> deep web. <laughs> but on the but, real doll site. On the real doll the site. The secret one. <laughs> But but more frequently, you can find me on Twitter. That's over at May of May eighty four, um, or on Twitch. That's Twitch TV slash May of May. Now that I've got Jeopardy, we'll be playing that online some as well as some Use Your Words, or both at the same time. I can get that to work. Um, use your Jeopardy more words. Importantly, exactly. Use your Jeopardy words. Um, more importantly, on on the website John mentioned, born in the eighties dot net. Click that link for the Discord. Um, you can join us as well as five other fun friends to come out and hang with. Um, and uh, um, in addition to that, if you feel like supporting us, even a dollar would help. That's uh, over at the Patreon, patreon.com slash born in the 80s. Spell out the 80s, E-I-G-H-T-I-E-S. We have a subreddit now, too. Yes. You can look for that. <laughs> yeah. This episode will be posted there when it publishes. Really? Yeah. Yep. Is there That's anything there heard. besides Matt chilling out for his own website yet? Hey, I found our <laughs> subreddit. Five way best ways to get a girlfriend, says Matt. <laughs> Over there. So anyway, yeah, we can put episodes up on there. I, I haven't done that. I put them up on Patreon, so Patreon yep. people get an email about a new episode being up. But anyway, someone can Goodbye, subreddit internet. post those. Good night, yep. everyone. <laughs>
started playing Call of Duty. I was tempted to do it the other day. I've heard it's cool. Ooh, I heard there's I did some a... good missions in single player. Bah. Strike through, turn it off. OG Xbox. I, I'm going to talk on the show for sure. Should we talk about Strep Adventures? Oh, no, yeah, sure. Strep <laughs> Adventures. It's more just a story than anything else. This is why is we need Medicare kids for were all. Sick with the other night? Or do you yep. have Strep? Or both? I don't. Yet. I don't yet. Two of the kids have it. One just found out in her regular annual checkup. And the other one was out of school that day because she wasn't feeling well. We just had her checked at the same time. Like, yeah, you should probably go get a culture. We'll, we'll get into it. I, I don't want to go through the story culture twice. Culture is good for children. <laughs> I really didn't deserve that much of a laugh. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I had stuff in my mouth, so that made it even better. Because I was trying to hold it in. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited. You know, on months we don't do a ROM in the month, we should have a... Oh, you mean... Wait, sorry, TJ. You mean every month? You mean every month, <laughs> yes. Ew! Um, well, you know, we, we, we should have a Patreon. We, we should have a Patreon get-together or a rabbit get-together. Hey, Patreon's not broken anymore. No, it's not. That's, that's in the news. Oh, nice. I, I see the control Z. Yeah, that's that's all Matt's doing. Well, I, I don't have control over the audio though, Matt. If you wanna, oh, scooch me on that, well, and you wanna make sure you. everyone's on studio that can be. Um, you know what, John? I'm sick of your power grabs. Well, that's fine. If you, uh, if you wanna do the volume stuff, you can. No, I'm leaving that up to you. <laughs> I I'm on studio. Are you on studio? Is everybody on studio? <laughs> me on studio watch and learn here's the deal slip and slide on this banana peel um, ha 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 okay I'm ready to start we should go welcome to born in the 80s I'm like. Matt Hag, your host yep Matt's Joined taking the hosting co-host. duties over Matt Hag, I do music on the internet Adam Ham. Yeah, I, I used to. <laughs> uh, how's that Patreon going, Matt? Uh, I haven't. Uh, I haven't had to pay you in a while. Yeah, I haven't released anything new in a while. But th- that's by song. Yeah. I need to throw something in. Yeah, you should. Never have to pay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you, you should throw like a hundred dollars per song in there, because like you'll never have. I'll never ever release a song. Bro. Wink. Yeah, but aren't you like 60% done with something? You've been working on it yeah. for a while. Since I yeah, visited. I got side. I, I just keep getting distracted and working on other stuff. Can we start? <laughs> I thought this was Did a show. Are we ready?